All right, everybody, welcome back to yet another video. And in this video, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of an S&D sort of breakdown um, to what was going through my mind in each of these plays. First round, uh, no one has, like, I don't have a clue how they're going to play. So I decided to go with an AR, uh, play a little slow, see if they're going to push or see if they're going to sit back. Um, last second right there, one of my players said basically that, that like, we should make a, a push. So... Uh, one of my guys, I think, is sniping over or just jumping over to see, um, like, top barn to see if anyone's crossing. Uh, I'm playing slow because I know that my teammates on the minimap, uh, I can see that they're kind of taking forever. I think I told them to kind of come up and push up with me because I need help. That's when I think it's McKiller comes out. Um, yeah. And uh, so he pushes through, gets into a gunfight in there. So I know there's one in there, but I know that he made him weak. So I know he's not going to push right away, and I, he's probably going to push out back. Yep, and I read him perfectly. And then I think there was another one in the building that... Um, yeah, and so he pushed out, almost kills my friend Zach, uh, but then I'm able to help him out and pick him up for him. Uh, and I saw the other guy at fences, and I called him out for my teammate. That's why he's watching alleyway, and I'm just sketched out about middle and about, you know, their, their doorway, essentially. Um... So he starts watching my middle, I plant, I back up here because I think that it's been long enough and he could be flanking. Um, Zach dies from middle, so I decide to basically just immediately challenge. Uh, I hold my shot right there, a lot of people might have taken that shot. He should have died right there. Um, I hit him with more than enough bullets, I don't know what happened, but... Um, yeah, he comes middle, I run out of ammo, the sub, so I just use pull up my AR and one burst. Um, I should have killed him on his way, like when he was in the bomb site, but I choked shots, I guess. Uh, but I still got the kill. Um, it was a little close, but I still got it. Um, so yeah, when it's a lot about a minimap awareness, guys. Like in this S and D, like when you know where people are and stuff, you just gotta know like the map and how long it takes to get from point A to point B and blah blah blah, things like that. And just where your teammates are, a lot of the time, is a lot of what your decision should be so on this side um, I know that they don't really play overly aggressive uh, they just kind of sit in bomb sites but on offense I still don't know how they play so I decided to do my standard setup which is I watch small someone watches tracks to get information and one guy walk like goes between watching mid cross and trying to see if they can go in a uh, obviously they went in a I call that a guy out L wall and one was tracks so guy A is dead so that guy slid back from, I believe, the I would believe that was the L wall guy. Um, so I just decided to attack the bomb site. That's why I'm kind of giving up um, my back here. It's because I knew that they were both over there. So there's one more dead, and I get sniped from the guy in tin, um, and so does Zach. I think, and I think McKiller. I'm pretty sure McKiller's able to get this. Yeah. So it was close. Uh, <laughs> Zach kind of choked sh shots there, and um, I shouldn't have challenged, but I kind of thought that I could get him, or rather, I thought that Zach, like I was kind of baiting, and I thought I would get him weak, and Zach would be able to pick him up, but I didn't know Zach was reloading. That's why we both kind of choked that. He didn't call out that he was reloading. Uh, I did say I was challenging, but it's all good. McKiller got the kill, and he went in the second round in a row. Moving on to the next round. So now I know that they still don't pay, play overly aggressive on defense or offense. So I'm staying with my AR for that reason so I can win those long range gunfights. But I got my pistol to win the close range ones. Alright, so right here I just, I don't know why I, I pre aim this. I know they don't pay, play aggressive but turns out one decided to go tin. I get that one burst real quick. Um... I know that one was middle and one was B side. Um, so McKiller's watching my tin. I can see that on the mini map. So I'm watching everything else to make sure he can't get flanked. So right now we have a good setup where, yeah, see, I see him tracks. I didn't need to challenge that. There's no reason to challenge that. I wasn't in a head glitch and he was in a big head glitch. Uh, so McKiller basically now he has to move from spawn and try and get some picks because he's in a 1v2 situation so I put him in that situation he knows where a few of them are he knows like 
Excuse me. He knows where. Uh, he knows that one of them was in barn, I believe, top barn, and one of them was tracks. Uh, but they might have both backed up to their spawn. One pops out, and I think they're pretty much giving him this clutch. I don't remember if he guessed it or not. Actually, it's been a while since I've seen this gameplay. Um, but he knows that basically. Ah, uh, see, he gets sniped. Um, any other gun, McKiller would have probably turned on him because McKiller is actually like really good. Um. Yep, yeah, so he backed up to spawn, and the other guy was just checking B. Probably peak tracks for no apparent, like, good reason. But, um, this guy gets a lucky pick on the killer. Um, so that's fine. Uh, you know, we just decided to push on and, uh, do the same. I think it's the same, literally the same setup that we did the first defense. Um, because it worked really well last time. I think they push A again. Uh, after after he pushes, so he calls one out tracks. I think it was a sniper tracks. Um, so I decide I'm gonna peek middle again. I don't see him L wall this time, so I maybe like I think maybe they're doing a slow push B. So I'm just gonna keep preaming this room. And I know that my teammates got A pretty covered up, except he wasn't pushed up enough, but that's fine. Um, I don't, when I'm on defense, I don't mind if my one guy at A, if they plant on him, uh, because it's easy to converge on A, it's harder to get control of B after it's been, con it's, you know, it's hard to retake B, it's easy to retake A. McKiller does choke shots here, and, uh, we end up, we end up losing, but it is easier to retake A. And they played that to our advantage as well. If we had have just sat in barn, honestly, we probably would have got like three picks because they were just pushing out and being very aggressive in our, in our faces. And it worked in their favor. Like, props to them. We played it as though they would be playing pretty much all in A. Um, but uh, generally, A is really easy to retake. So I normally go for B uh, when I'm on offense and when I'm on defense, I just stack up on B because it's easier to uh, take A. Here I decide I'm going to use my car this round, but I wait till uh, a minute 15 because that's when they can't use, they can't switch their classes anymore um, to a flak jacket, so I'm using my car now. Um, my, my teammates are pushing up mid and track, so I'm kind of just trying to like make sure they don't get flanked for a second. And then I see the one guy, I see the guy in the corner on the left there too. I called him out. Uh, I killed McKiller right there. Uh, and then I believe Zach dies um, to a gunfight. So I see that guy. I'm like, okay, the other guy's probably defusing. So immediately I jump over, and there he was defusing. Almost got destroyed, but I didn't. Um, so that was really good use of the car because I was able to make sure that I, I kind of like baited out the defuse because he probably assumed I was still in spawn. So he probably was like telling his teammate, watch over me, watch over me. And I got really good timing on his teammate. He probably just checked just check tracks. And didn't see me and then just ran small to check mid. Um, so a little bit of luck, but that's what Call of Duty is. It's a little bit of luck. Um, so moving into this round, rounds play a big part in people's mindsets and what they're going to do. 3v3-2, three three sorry. Um, after getting kind of like 1v2'd like that, um, they're probably just going to play it safe. And they're going to go for a B push. That's my assumption. Because, um, or they're going to, yeah, they're going to play back and then they're going to go B late. Um, and because Zach pushed through A, that kind of gave them information um, that we're probably not at A. Like, because Zach, the other times that they went A, he played A. Um, but this time he pushed through. So that tells them that the one guy going A is now dead. So that changes their game plan up entirely. So now they're like, all right, we should go, we should probably go A. But these guys are not silly. Uh,. <laughs> And they didn't, they didn't uh, switch up from their strat at all. Yeah, see, they did a late B, um, just like I said the first time. And the reason for that is because of the round count. You have to play safe at this point. You don't want, like, 4-2 to 3-3. Three, three. That's, that's a big round, right? You don't want to give that up. So um, I almost destroyed this guy, but the other guy challenges. I challenged it from a wrong angle. I should have challenged front of the truck, but McKillar lets that guy live by accident. He didn't see, like, I called him out there, but... There's no point running back to bait yourself mid. Um, so he did make a good play by not challenging that guy's hard 
kills one. I don't believe he's able to get a. Uh, I don't remember. No, he he. I don't think he is able to get them. Yeah, no. He wouldn't have clutched either way. The bomb count, uh, count time timer was way 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 down already. Um, but it's hard to um, it's hard to gauge whenever our rounds are tied because that's pretty much like a zero zero, and everyone just kind of feels like they can do whatever they want. So this time. Um, I'm thinking they're going to think that we want to keep that one round lead and that we are going to go B. Um, and I think I say it's challenge mid. Yeah. Uh, because I wanted to, I'm pretty sure we could cross to A. Like there's one there and then that was the only guy. See, he, they had no, they did not expect us to challenge mid like that because that guy flew through like, and then I read this guy because I figure one of them's at B, one of them went mid, one of them's probably A. Gives a, that tells me, just like how last round Zach pushing told them that A is open, uh, and so we know the last guy's tracks. He just shot on the mini map, so I'm just gonna plant it's three v uh, three v one. We know where he is, um, so I'm just kind of like preaming the mid cross and making sure he doesn't get on bomb, and um, he ends up killing himself because I guess either by accident or because he probably assumed that um, he probably assumed that blowing up the bomb would give me points which it would have for streaks um, pretty simple round like they did not they didn't expect us to go mid like that the guy didn't even shoot back because he was so surprised uh, so now we're up one more round so it's the same predicament as last time it's 5-3 or 4-4 four, four for them like that's what they have to think about so they're going to do probably a, like a three-way push. And I told Zach to go mid this time and give up A because it's easy to retake. <clears throat> so they're doing a concise B push, I believe. Um, very decisive. I saw the guy, L wall. So it's 2v3, and I know that McKillar's got tracks. So I just want to help him out. I, uh, he calls out that there's two of them pushed up. I kill one. I jump out. I'm able to get the last guy right here. And the other guy went A, and I don't know why. This one play, I, I'm never going to understand why that guy went A when his teammates were pushing for B. I think he was originally trying to go mid to B, but because I was shooting at him, he probably rotated all the way back. Um, and then instead of going B with his teammates, he decided to go A. I don't, just don't know why. Um, Mikhail gets the kill, and I just we, we kind of like ask each other who's at what uh, for score, and then I get the defuse because I'm closer. Um... So I have my glitch, I have a car, they know that, and they're at 5-3. So at this point, if they haven't given up, props to them, uh, a lot of teams give up at this point. Uh, even if they don't sound like they did, and this guy got destroyed, but uh, even if they don't sound like they've given up, uh, a lot of time in the back of their mind, they're just thinking, okay, this guy's got streaks, this guy's got, you know. Um, but I don't think they do, because I'm pretty sure this goes 5-5. Five, five. Uh, so I'm going to keep my AR out because I'm sitting here going, okay, it's working for me. Uh, we're using three ARs, but it's working. Uh, but we're playing aggressive this round. I probably should have pulled out a sub this round. Um, so I know one goes back rock normally. He wasn't there, which surprised me, which means that they're playing back spawn hard. That's probably because they knew I had a car and probably because they knew he had overdrive. So Zach gets picked, and so does McGiller. I get one kill there, uh, and I know that one guy's middle. I don't know... If my back's clear, so I just give it up anyway. I'm like, fuck it, you know, I'll take the chance. Uh, they might both be together. That's what I would do in a 2v1 situation, but they're not. And I get kind of joked right there. Um, I did miss my first burst, but the second burst, I thought I hit all of it. And he is in a head glitch, so it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense that he's in, not dead. But it's whatever. I tell, like, my teammates are freaking out right now saying I got joked. But I'm sitting there going, all right, calm down, guys. Like, we need one round. I'm not trying to lose, like, so I have my dart now. They don't know that because they didn't get to spectate me last round, unless they're just good at math. Uh, <laughs> so I have my dart, and I have my glitch, and I have a car. So I'm going, all right, I'm going to wait till 15. I'm going to throw my car out. Um, the killer's, what, like, pre and mid-cross. That's all he needs to do. Just watch that cross, and I'm going to go and check B. Zach's got A again. Uh, I see one there. He's sniping. All right, cool. I tell my teammates, 
and he kills one guy. I think it was L wall. That guy's still there, and he freaking stunned me out of the that like amazing spot. But anyway, I tell him he backed up. He's sniping. Don't challenge him, so they're not challenging him. I go for it. Um, time's almost up, so I gotta like hurry. And this guy pretty much just gives me this kill. Doesn't try to run away or anything. So now it's a 2v1 situation between me and McKiller, and this is this round really um, kind of irked me, but you'll see why. So I tell McKiller to stay up uh, and watch A. I'm going to throw my dart, just watch over my body. I'm going to go watch B, and he should watch A and over my body. Now if you look at the mini-map, he decides, I'm going to go in A. Okay, nothing in A. He then he decides, I'm going to go and challenge this guy. So after he kills me, he challenges him, goes middle, and chokes. <laughs> so honestly, if after the guy killed me, he should have ran away. He should have just left and not like not really played this like this. Um, he should have wall ran away, just get away um, under any circumstance. Because I have my dart. The guy will not plant with my dart live. I promise you. The second he hears it comes close come close he would have given up bomb like he would not have planted with my dart live um but anyway i'm i'm sitting here like biting my tongue instead of yelling and getting mad i'm going okay you know good try good try this round though i'm mad and when i'm when i get angry uh at another team at their players for winning from doing stupid things or whatever the case may be uh i just i just play really 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 like my shots on because I just want to win like really really badly <laughs> so here I'm going okay let's play this slow mid so we got a guy watching tin we got a guy watching mid and I was watching tracks nothing pushed okay they're playing slow I go McKiller let's push this together you go first I have bomb he goes first and one in the head glitch he picks him nice okay so I jump into a Zach gets a pick mid I see this guy simple so we all clutched up in the last round, guys. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. Uh, it, it's a little bit long. I might try and chop it down a little bit, but it's probably going to be a good 15 plus minutes. But hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. I'm going to make another one like this probably pretty soon. Uh, Today is going to be a double upload. And also, when I make this video after the next time I make it, because I already have a recording, it's not going to be the same. It's going to look a little bit different. I'm going to make it... I'm going to make it where I go in theater and do a live commentary as I go over things and I'm able to pause it and rewind it and explain things and who's doing what. So that's the way I'm going to start doing it, but after my next time. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, peace the fuck out.